always fun at the Brews and Q's Cruise. Good burgers and fries. As usual, I didn't get anywhere near all the cars in, but here's a look at a few of them and some of the good folks at the cruise night. Guys and gals hanging around, waiting for their ticket to be drawn for the 50-50 draw and other prizes. I understand that this evening's draw paid out over $200. Whether you won or not, it was another fun evening at Brews and Q's. Here's more cars at the cruise. A little later in the video, we'll talk with a few people about their cars. Here's Randy's 1959 Chrysler, built in Windsor. Really like those fins. Randy loves this car, but says driving has its challenges. Well, right now, it, I think it needs a little bit of work in the steering box, because it's really like driving a big boat. You know what I mean? Where it sort of floats on the suspension, and, and the, the steering wheel floats around, you know what I mean? It's not as tight as the new cars, where you, you touch the wheel, you change the lane real quick. This one here, you gotta do, half a turn on your steering wheel before you change the lane, eh? It gives you that feeling that you're driving a nice old classic car. This beast is powered by a 361 engine with push-button transmission. Randy says it's got some electrical issues, but other than that, it runs really well. Paul is the owner of this 1941 Dodge drag car. I asked him about the engine specs. Um, the motor is a newer generation 358. Uh, it started off as a NASCAR truck engine, 
and I bought it used and uh, decided to put it in this car so I could take it to the dragway with something dependable. Um, the car is fairly quick. It runs 9.9 nine in the quarter mile. Looks pretty good now, but what did the car look like when found? When I got it, it was rusted pretty heavily, no floors, nothing. And I left a stock frame built from there, put a little more safety stuff in it, and brought it back to its uh, gasser day. It had the axle, had the tilt front end, so a lot of the stuff was started already. Now, here's Kevin with his 1968 VW. It was a local car. I found it in uh, Sandpoint Beach area in, uh, in 1992, summer of 1992. And um, we towed it home as a stock Beetle. And um, through a couple of years, two and a half years, my dad and I converted this uh, from an original four-cylinder Beetle into a V8 bug. And um, it's a mixed match of 68 and a 70 because I had two at the time. So I put one together and uh, uh, Fred's chassis at the time was the guy building hot rod chassis. So he did a frame and roll cage in there for me. And then my dad and I did the rest. The rest that Kevin spoke about might surprise you under the hood. Okay, that is a uh, started life as a 350 uh, to make 500 horsepower. I said, if it doesn't make 500, it's not going in the car. So we dynoed it at Gary Leach in Windsor, and uh, it made over 500 horse. So it's in the car. It's got a uh, 700 R4 transmission. Uh, connected to it with an overdrive, the overdrive with a lockup converter, and the car cruises nice, and I get 21 miles a gallon. Is Kevin happy? Well, what do you think? Here's Lloyd's 1970 Plymouth Sports Satellite that he bought brand spanking new. I bought this car uh, just on a whim. Uh, I went for a ride, and I see they just had it in, so I went over for a ride and went home with it. I just uh, like the style of it. This Plymouth is original right down to the interior. Not bad for a car that's close to 50 years old. And I traded in a 66 Plymouth Sport Fury 383 four-speed for it. There's a fair number of 40 Fords out there, but only a few 40 Mercs, and even fewer 40 Merc convertibles. This is Al's car, and I asked how he found it. Uh, the fella up in Welland had it for sale a few times at Bothwell, and uh, I tried buying it and couldn't come up with the money. Then when I sold my other car, I finally had the money to buy it, and I got it, finally. But uh, it was hard getting it out of them. <laughs> so, but I got it, and uh, I did a few changes on it. I changed the, that fuel injection, I changed the carburetor, and... Change the tires, put the wide white walls on and the original hubcaps. And just drove to drive it. It's a driver. It's a California car, never been patched. Like many of us, Al's been around cars for a long time. Uh, since I was a little kid, all my uncles raced a checker flag. Uh, I raced a checker flag from the time I was old enough to drive. And I've just been around cars my whole life. For it, like My whole life. I asked about the engine. It has a 302 Lincoln motor in it, automatic but overdrive, power steering, power brakes, airbag, front suspension. She looks original but goes down the road like a brand new car. It's run 140, 150 kilometers an hour all day long down the road. Al says this was the first year for Ford's power convertible top. Here's a look at the interior. Well, that's a brief look at the Bruising Q's Cruise and some of the good people and cars that made up this regular Monday night cruise. So long for now, and as always, we'll see you at the Car Shows and Cruise Nights.